Hi, good morning. I'm John Mann, Facilities Manager, Port of Hood River. I'd like to talk about why we do bridge welding uh, twice a year. Uh, during the course of the year, uh, the traffic on the bridge, just that we get normally, uh, does damage the, uh, the decking, and that requires us being out there twice a year. Uh, we can't do this at night because you can't find those low, the, the cracks at night. The cracks can only be seen in the daytime, and there's a method of thumping and visualizing these cracks so that we can find them, mark them for the welders. We do this, it's very time consuming to find the welds and very time consuming to weld them. As you drive across our bridge, you'll hear a lot of clicking and you'll hear some clanking. The clicking is really not much to worry about. Those are small separations in the bridge deck which happen and occur naturally and the noise occurs naturally. The clanking, however, is when we have two sections in one deck section that's loose enough that it causes a clank rather than a click. Those are what we're out there addressing. Some of the causes that create added wear to our deck are, say, the oil train fire, the fires in the gorge this past summer. All these things increase the traffic on our, our bridge, and the people who travel across our bridge aren't aware of the speed limits and so on, so all the things that compound the problems are m amplified when we have natural uh, and, and man-made disasters locally. One of the main factors on our bridge for bridge deck damage and just general damage to our bridge in general is speed. People travel too quickly on our bridge. Uh, the speed limit is 25 miles an hour. Um, anything less than that is also acceptable. One of the other causes that we have is overweight truckloads on our bridge. And anytime we have traffic diverted to our bridge, we get a, a considerably large amount of trucks coming across, um, way above our normal averages. And for the benefit of my crew, I thought I'd just spend a moment uh, explaining that we have a nine foot two lane width and when my crew is out there welding and they are using that entire nine foot two it leaves very little room for people passing by everybody's curious about what's going on so they all look as they look they tend to wave a little bit into my crew's lane and uh, I just assume people just paid attention to driving across the bridge and uh, help keep my crew safe thanks